Bienvenidos a Cambridge Zoocast. Mi nombre es Julieta Sarmiento, and today we have Victor as our visitor. My name is Victor Kang. I'm a second year PhD student. Uh, I work in the insect biomechanics group here. Victor, could you tell us um, a brief introduction to your project? Uh, so I look at invertebrate adhesion on slippery wet surfaces. So typically when you think about, uh, let's say an insect, yeah, it walks really well on a wall, um, but if it's wet, generally it, it's, difficult, it's more difficult to walk on. Um, and I look at different insects um, and invertebrates that actually manage to do that really well and stick with extreme performance. What kind of animals do you work with? Yeah, so I actually work with several animals. Um, they're, mo they're all invertebrates. So the first uh, study organism that I use are limpets. So these are, they're mollusks and they live on the intertidal zones and you see them everywhere in the UK and Europe too and they stick extremely well. So then do you do lab work and field work? Yes, yeah, I do a combination of both. Um, I do obviously have to go and find my study organisms. The actual collection part, like I said, is a little bit challenging because they stick so well. Um, but I have some other organisms that I, that I get to go to Europe for. So I go to the Alps and collect some larvae. And these live in alpine streams and rivers. So on the downside, it is really cold. But on the plus side, I'm in the Alps. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> tough life. But it's, it's very fun. It's a great time being in the field. So I heard that you spin some of the animals in one of the apparatus that you use it in the lab. That's right, yes. <laughs> yeah, so it's called a centrifuge that we have. It's a modified custom-built centrifuge. And we use that to test how strongly these uh, insects and other in uh, invertebrates uh, stick to a surface. So, yeah, we, in our lab, we have a lot of different study animals, not just mine. So we've looked at stick insects, ants, caterpillars, um, and also my, my larvae that I was talking about. And it's, it's interesting. I mean, you, you just place them on there, let it go, and then they just kind of spin. And that gives you a lot of information. Um, a lot of uh, mechanical information on, on their uh, strength of attachment. What would be the ratio that you um, you spend time in, in the field work and then you also spend time in the lab? What would be the balance? Yeah, I actually overall um, do spend most of my time in the lab doing experiments in the lab. Um, I have to say probably 10-15% of my total time is in the field, so yeah. That's very interesting. Um, what about collaborations? Yeah, um, th I do spend a lot more time with uh, collaborating um, projects. So I have research collaborations set up in Belgium, a um, couple in Paris, um, and several in the University of Cambridge. And it's, it's fantastic being um, in the department, but also at Cambridge, where there's very free, open um, collaboration and a lot of support for that to happen. Um, I, th I, I really uh, value that uh, from the department and the university and it, gives, it really gives the impression that Cambridge is an international hub for research. What would, you, um, what would be the collaboration? Uh, do you go to work with the equipment that they have there? or? Uh, yeah, no, that's exactly right. Um, sometimes they have the equipment that I need. I um, sometimes they have the expertise that our lab doesn't, so we need to collaborate. Um, and of course it goes both ways, so we've hosted people as well um, and that's, that's a good experience because you get to uh, work on a project that's not your own but your skills are relevant for it, so that's been a good experience too. Fantastic. Um, what about conferences or outreach? Have you um, participated in some festivals? Or? Yeah, um, I do end up going to quite a few training schools because um, part of my funding, so I'm funded through the Marie Curie Actions and a big component is uh, training. Um, so that provides research and also other soft skill development training. Um, and every few months I uh, go to Europe and attend one of these training schools where I present my research and then I hear about all my collaborators and all my friends' research. Um, and then we have courses on all these different skills that we can learn. So, I mean, it's a fantastic opportunity and it lets me um, visit other labs and other institutions um, and also travel a little bit, so it's, it's a great balance. 
Apart from your um, travel and uh, your research, could you please let us know about uh, what you do outside um, the Department of Zoology? Yeah, sure. Um, and this is another uh, way we know each other. I uh, take photo, well, photos for fun, and we are both in the Cambridge University uh, is it photo? Yeah, <laughs> photo photography society. Um, and it's a really cool group. There's some fantastic speakers come along, and it's a fun group to be with. Um, so that's what I spent my uh, time outside the lab. Um, so, what would be your next plans? Um, do you have a travel um, coming soon? or? Yeah, yeah. My, my next plans are getting ready for another research uh, collaboration trip. So, yeah, just get out. I'm, I'm off to Belgium, so I'm hoping to um, get everything ready before then. Fantastic. And thank you very much for your time, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Yes.